Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'll be explaining how to use a time, um, a time picker. So yesterday, I covered how to use a date picker, and using the time picker is like basically exactly the same, but except for one small change. So what I'm going to do is get the same setup as yeah, um, the date picker. We're just going to use a text field, and I'll just put that there. Give it a few constraints, like. I'll give it, keep it in the middle, oh, we'll keep it in the middle, and give it a width of 300, and a height of 34, okay, now we can just create an outlet, text field, if it seems I'm going a bit fast, um, you can get a detailed, basically the date picker tutorial before this is basically the same but we're just changing a few things so let's just initialize the text field so what we're going to do is let's get the date equals date and then we'll create a date formatter equals date formatter uh, formatter dot date format okay so last time we did the day day month of year 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 now we're going to do hour hour minute minute second second and if you want it to be 24 hours we can set it as formatter dot uh, locale uh, locale equals locale identifier and then set as ngb because in britain they use 24 hours and now we can just set the text field dot text as that formatted date which is also includes a time might as well just call this time. So formatter dot string from time. Okay, also set this form text field text color to link. Okay, now we can add a date picker here. So actually name it time picker. So let time picker is equal to UI date picker. It's still the same UI component, but this time the date picker mode will be a dot time. And now we can add the target. So time picker dot add target self objective C. Wait, okay, now we need to create an objective C method. So at objective C func time picker value change. And sender will be a UI date picker. Okay, and now we can add that here. So it will be a selector time picker value changed and for UI control dot event dot value changed. Okay, when time is changed it will appear here okay now we can just now when the time is changed what we're going to do is create a formatter here and we can just actually copy and paste this formatter and now we can set its time as text field dot text dot is equal to formatter dot string from sender dot date okay so that's actually about it that was really quick so now let's just run this I did it really quickly today because this is basically the same as the last video except for a few minor changes and now let's just run it okay so you can see here it's got it here oh we forgot to do, forgot to do one thing we need to set the input view text field uh, we forgot to set the input view and the time pickers frame time picker dot frame equals CG size uh, like I said yesterday the width really doesn't matter yeah, I can just set it to zero we want the height to be 250 and then text field dot input view is equal to time picker okay now let's run this oh Oh, frame dot size. 
Uh, I'm also going to make this line in the center. There. Oh, that doesn't matter. Okay, let's run it now. Okay. So it's 7.30, and it just did that. 7.30 p.m. And we can change it like this. So, yeah. And if we make it a.m. Oh. Oh, we need to make this minute, minute. It needs to be a capital M as. Oh, no, no. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Capital H. That's what I meant. Capital M is for month. Capital H means it's in 24 hours. Now, if we run this again, it should show us in 24 hours. There we go. 19. Then we can change this. So, yeah. That's how you create a time picker. Thanks for watching. And... Bye.